Hey guys, Nikhil here from Home Banao. In this video, I'll be showcasing interiors of Taj Vivanta. This is a Taj Vivanta based out of Whitefield, Bangalore. I think there's a lot to learn, some beautiful decisions these architects have taken for the interior design of these. Let's check it out. There are 10 tips which I want to share with you based on my experience living in this Taj Vivanta deluxe room. The first thing I want to talk about are the warm diffused lights. Guys, this room is filled with a lot of warm diffused lights which makes the overall experience really pleasant. Most of our homes end up having harsh cold lights which directly hit our eyes. Like in the long term, there have been a lot of studies which tell that these harsh lights can really damage your eyes. So when I come into the room because of this warm welcoming diffused lights I really feel pleasant and it leaves a very nice impression the next thing I want to talk about is an entire side of the room is dedicated to full length drapes these drapes are from ceiling to floor now I'm not sure if every single room will have the large opening this room has but having these full length drapes will really give a nice luxurious look to your room the next thing is a cushion headboard a lot of homes have started having these cushion headboards if you don't I really recommend having a cushion headboard now what this will do is two things it'll give you a space to sit down and relax and two it'll prevent any sort of head injury you may have right above the cushion headboard they have a very nice 3d panel which they have used i really like the look it's very subtle and the color of choice is white so it doesn't you know feel gaudy next i want to talk about the study area or the work area this particular suite has been designed for a lot of business people it's placed right inside the itpl park i'm 100 sure they had in mind that living in this room will end up working on their laptops a lot because of which they have made this beautiful study area these guys have done a really good job with the study area it doesn't feel like it's coming in the way and overall it seems very functional the bathroom design over here is really smart the bathroom door over here is a sliding door which ends up saving a lot of space makes the bathroom look bigger makes the room look bigger when you go into the bathroom on the left hand side they have a lot of storage area on the right hand side they have two cabinets we'll get to these cabinets in a moment but right at the front is the dresser now this particular space saving measure is really smart because in a single area where you would just have a typical bathroom they have incorporated three different elements a bathroom a shower and a dresser and what this allows you to do is in the same space have a very nice experience on the left hand side is the commode on the right hand side is the shower and right behind me or opposite to the commode and the shower is a simple storage area but this bathroom area is separated from the bedroom the actual bed through a translucent glass which i think is a really smart use of space and because it's translucent glass overall it's very well lit despite not having any window or opening as such another point for the bathroom you may be wondering that i mean the areas are divided won't the water end up getting spilled well they have done something really clever every bathroom is at a slightly lower level than other areas so the wet area and the dry areas are separated so that allows you to experience the bathroom without having to worry that hey you're wetting your entire clothes or things like that next i want to talk about the ledge now of course we've seen this in every single hotel room we go to but i want to mention this ledge particularly because i think a lot of our devices these days we end up charging them on our bedside tables i think you should not be doing that that's really stupid because you end up spending your time on the bedside table anyway what you should be doing is have a separate ledge in your room where you end up keeping all your devices to charge the ledge space over here is quite well designed there's sufficient storage on the top tiers and on the bottom tier they have given a drawer and a mini fridge i mean this is a hotel that's why they have a mini fridge but in your case you can use that as additional storage space next i want to talk about the couch and the leg rest typically in most rooms these days they do not have a couch or a leg rest i think it's really nice having a separate couch in your private space you can sit down read a book maybe take some phone calls and not sit on the bed or ruin the bed so according to me having a couch and a leg rest separately in your room is a really good choice one thing i want to mention is a lot of homes don't end up having this couch because they end up spending a lot of space in storage now this is important because your day-to-day -day clothes of course should be accessible to you but overall a lot of your clothes a lot of your accessories if you look at them daily or they end up taking a lot of space in your room doesn't leave a great impression now you may be thinking that this room is really big well is this 200 square feet you can set aside 30 to 40 square feet just for your storage so that's what i would recommend you do have a personal couch 
when you get into the room you will be welcomed with a beautiful carpet now this carpet serves two purposes it gives a very aesthetic look to the room and overall it reduces the echo in the room once you have lesser and lesser things in your room there's chances that your room your sound will end up echoing in the room but with this carpet the advantage you have is that your sound will not bounce off it the carpet really does a good job absorbing the echo and i live in bangalore sometimes in winter it gets really cold so you know having a carpet in your room would be really helpful but having a carpet in your room to absorb sound to give you a warm place to keep your feet at can really help out next let's talk about the paint color i think the paint color choice is very pleasant the main wall of the room is a beautiful white paint the ceiling is painted in white and on the left hand side they have a cream wallpaper now you may be thinking white and cream is dull and boring well think about it like these colors tend to calm you down and soothe you now this is important because the moment you walk into one of these hotel rooms you actually feel calmer having soothing simple colors like white and cream are a really nice touch next i want to talk about the luggage area this is a separate area in this particular room to place your bag now they have given this in the perspective of a traveler who may have some luggage to keep on the left hand side is a storage area they have created a separate space for you to keep bags this is accessible ready to go and i think it's a really clever solution and more and more homes should try to incorporate this let me talk about the overall aesthetics of the room they've used wood in a very clever way they've placed a lot of decor elements in the room the lighting is very clever overall the room is very functional something which i'll end up using a lot and not not ignore or not get annoyed by now there is a small subtle feature that i want to highlight is the placement of the speakers very clean acoustic design so what do i mean by that the speaker placement is incredible you barely notice there are any speakers you have one speaker right below the tv and then you have other speakers spread across the room on the corners i think that's really clever it gives you a nice 360 degree surround sound but they were really loud and i really enjoyed watching television over here now let me talk about the overall landscaping of this particular hotel overall i think the architect has done an amazing job with the landscaping design everywhere i go i see some sort of greenery and greenery is soothing to you plus it gives you a very nice fresh air to breathe when you go into a restaurant area they have a separate restaurant area which you know exposes the swimming pool and it's separated by a lawn i think there was a really clever design gives a very nice look almost feels like you're on a beach but you're really not there's no corner in the entire hotel it feels very organic does not feel like you're in the city honestly i did not have a single time when i felt i was inside the city when i was in this hotel room or when i was experiencing the overall look and feel of the place i think the entire property is surrounded by carefully planted trees and whenever a person inside looks outside he will end up seeing trees instead of buildings and i think that's really really smart finally i want to highlight this no corner aspect even when you're walking on pathways even when you're in a lobby anywhere you are you will not see a single corner and i think that's such a beautiful interior design we don't think about it a lot but when i was experiencing it it really left a very different impression on me so what did you think about this particular hotel room which i just showed you please let me know in the comment section below if there's any other hotel room you really enjoyed watching and would want me to experience and give my thoughts on it leave them in the comment section i'll go and try to check it out as soon as i can thanks a lot for watching guys hope you got to learn something and hope this will help you with your interior design for your home see you guys in my next video